Hi, this is Didi Young, and this is my energy report for the month of July. And we've just had the full moon here in Denmark. We had it 6.44 a.m. GMT time. So it's been some hectic days up until this release day. And right now we are repeating whatever happened eight years ago, actually four, eight and 12 years ago. So maybe if you can reflect on the themes which you uh, had to balance, <clears throat> the same things is repeating right now, but the energy is much more lighter this time. So that's that's the good part. Everything is lighter, even though it seems very hectic for you guys right now. So the big, big theme in July is going to be relations, relationships, partnership. Many of you might have a, um, a spouse, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or partner or whatever who you are teaming up with and this also is related to friendship and um, many of you thinks that um, it's either way that you're going to continue or you're going to split up you're going to continue a long lasting friendship or you're not ever going to see this person again and the same goes for the relationships um and they're saying that they are telling me to tell you that it's not black and white. You have to try and solve your problems right now without it being the definite um, tiv, um breakup. So that's going to be the big, big lesson to learn. And it's a very difficult lesson right now because we have um, a month in the sign of cancer, which is uh, a water sign. So the emotion is really up and out there. So we seem to project our emotions onto other people. And it's also seen in jealousy, actually, because we have the Mercury in retrograde, which is the communication planet. And it's in retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. And the Scorpio sign stands for sexuality and passion. So many of you think or see that your partner have a flirtatious way of being in the world, which can annoy you pretty much. <laughs> so it can go either way that uh, your partner is acting very flirtatious or you are. So as a good advice to those of you who can recognize this issue and the quarrels that will follow with this problem <laughs> or task is to reflect that the things that you are jealous about, are you able to say and look in the mirror and say that I am very uh, strict about it in my own life. I don't uh, project either. I don't get flirtatious. I don't open, I don't keep an open window to old relations um, and and about the projection thing. I, you'll hear me tell you about this constantly because I'm very interested in what is going on in the relationships and the relations we are in. And basically it comes down to projections. We are projecting the things we have difficulties with to other people, which is a huge problem because then we get the drama and we don't want the drama in our lives. Um, and it's a matter of um, trying to look at it from a more healthy place and to become more healthy, you need to pay attention to self-love because no one is giving you the self-love besides you, of course. And sometimes when being an empath, you feel that your partner is being <clears throat> an egoistic narcissist or psychopath. Uh, but and this goes for if he's not narcissistic or a psychopath. But what you should learn, or she, what you should learn is that your partner that seems narcissistic or have an ego way of being in the world, maybe is more in tune with his or her um, need that comes first. Try and imagine that if you spend all the energy and the amount of time where you think about somebody else, if you spend that on you, you would be a much more balanced person. So this is why it's so dramatic 
in July because the universe wants you to focus on you and the self-care and the self-love. And if you don't, then um, you'll see more drama in your relations and become so sick and tired and exhausted from your relations. And I'm saying relations because this also goes out to single people uh, and this will be shown in your friendships or partnership. You will experience that also in the more business industry area that you'll become more and more sick and tired of a job where it feels safe but it's not safe at all so you are figuring out right now how to get out um and this is not the time for actions when in doubt do nothing you know try and reflect in july instead of what you can do differently without it being black or white or I have to stay or I have to, to leave. Um, you are also sensing that your partner, partner, partners is lying to you. So whatever they're saying doesn't resonate in your system because your intuition is telling you that they're lying to themselves, which means that you feel that they're lying to you. Uh, and please repeat that in your head. They're not lying to you. They're lying to themselves. So please, please, the biggest advice I can give you, don't project when you'll see all this uh, go down right now. Uh, release everything that's possible for you to release. Uh, use the energy from the full moon to do that. So you're building a better foundation for the next eight years in your life in all relations. And it starts with loving yourself, giving yourself the self care. I wish you a nice summer.